I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. So, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Grace and peace from our Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our brother Miguel, who we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O God, raise him up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace one through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Therefore, Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Michael, and we commit him to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Amen. Amen. Rest eternal, grant him, O Lord and let light perpetual shine upon him. Merciful God, you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness, calm our troubled spirits, and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ rising from the dead, you conquer death and open the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you, that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with our brother Michael. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We are invited to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.